In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Opening antiphon, all the earth shall bow down before you, O God, and shall sing to you, shall sing to your name, O Most High. The intention for this morning's Holy Mass is for the repose of the soul of Virgilio del Rosario. For the repose of Virgilio del Rosario. And last night was the funeral for Alex Ramirez. We want to remember him. Today we will have his burial at forest lawn. As we enter into these sacred mysteries, the mystery of God and his love for sinners and his call of mercy to those who ask forgiveness, let us confess our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in my thoughts in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who governs all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace in our times through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Melchizedek, king of Salem and priest of God Most High, met, met Abraham as he returned from his defeat of the kings and blessed him. And Abraham apportioned to him a tenth of everything. His name first means righteous king, and he was also king of Salem, that is, king of peace without fault, father, mother, or ancestry, without beginning of days or end of life, thus made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. It is even more obvious if another priest is raised up after the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become so not by a law expressed in a commandment concerning physical descent, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. For it is testified, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord 
said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. The scepter of your power, the Lord will stretch forth from Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor. Before the day star, like the Jew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had, who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisee went out and immediately um, took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death, the gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Prayer is a battlefield when we start to approach the Lord in silence, in solitude, and come before him to pray. Immediately, um, you have the experience of of remembering all the bad that we've done. It's uh, um, unless we have the scripture to guide our thoughts, our, um, our bad um, memories or our bad thoughts take over. Thoughts of anger, thoughts of resentment, thoughts of, um, of violence or of greed, jealousy, or... Um, uh, passion, these thoughts can just o overwhelm us. What do we do when we're trying in silence and prayer and our thoughts are, you know, coming up with all these terrible things that all of a sudden look overwhelming? The past, the darkness of our own past, how are we to approach the light that is so pure that um, calls us? Well, that is part of the purification of prayer. Prayer purifies us. And it is um, uh, one thing that the past comes up to us to remind us of the very things we need to uh, ask pardon for. The closer we get to the light of God, the cl more we're going to see our own darkness. Well, um, uh, there's an action going on inside of us, which is the action of the accuser, Satan as the accuser. 
Satan is known for two principal uh, uh, attacks he makes on us, accusing us and deceiving us. Uh, The great deception, God will not forgive me. You know, God uh, has forgiven me for this sin, and I have repeated that sin, and he has given me graces, and I have neglected those graces. And all of that is true, but that then he says, so he will not forgive you again. That is false. That is the deceiver's, um, uh, the deceiver's great lie that God will, could never forgive us. So here on the Sabbath day, Jesus is accused. And he's accused by holy men. He's accused by the Pharisees. And the Pharisees truly, they want to fulfill every um, mind, every law in the uh, in in the law of Moses, every single rule they want to live it perfectly, and people actually loved them for their uh, explaining the the law in in a way that they could follow it. So when they meet Jesus, they are horrified that he seems to be flaunting in their faces um, a law against the Sabbath. In the Sabbath, we heard Father Donald yesterday talk about the one time the family, his family was in the car waiting to go to Mass, and their mother came out and said, oh, the, the husband died next door. I'm going to go and uh, pray and spend time with the widow on this uh, uh, terrible day. So um, uh, Father Donald was saying, that she was obeying one of the other laws of the Sabbath, that it's, it is uh, fulfilling the Sabbath to do good. So Jesus uh, says to the man with the withered hand, come up here and stand up here. Um, and then he says to the Pharisees, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? And that is um, not a win-win question. It is, you have to be either for just the, the letter of the law or, um, and, or, or against the spirit of the law. They remain silent, and he is angry at them. You don't hear about Jesus' anger very much, but what angers him is when we turn the very first commandment of the Lord, the Lord your God is one, Him alone shall you adore with your whole heart, mind, and soul. And then this adjoiner, and love your neighbor as yourself. Um, That the Sabbath is made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So um, Jesus asks, is Sabbath for to save a life rather than to destroy it? What's lawful? So he grieves at their hardness of heart. And hardness of heart, that is one of our great challenges. What can soften our heart? How can we give to God all that has hardened us by our greed, our anger, our resentments, our jealousies, um, our comparing ourselves to other people? And other people, you know, we think of them looking at us and comparing us. Look to God. You know, again and again, we are to look to God but the Pharisees, they turn to their worst enemies, the Herodians. They, uh, the Herodians uh, were horrible um, to the Pharisees, but the Pharisees go to them and they plot against Jesus in order to put him to death. The war, uh, the, the battlefield inside of us of prayer um, uh, to uh, put our, our sights on Jesus, who by his consecration in his passion to the Father, through the Holy Spirit, is the salvation of the world. Through his cross and resurrection, he has saved us. Let us stand and let us pray. Stretch out your hand. May we stretch out our hands as needy um, beggars, to him who can alleviate us, we pray to the Lord. 
stretch out your hand. May we stretch out the hand of Christ to all with whom we come in contact today. We pray to the Lord. Stretch out your hand. May we lift our hands in prayer as we make intercession for all people. We pray to the Lord. Stretch out your hand. May we ever remind ourselves of our priestly privilege um, and grasp the hand of the one who healed the, the man with the withered hand. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our country on Inauguration Day. We pray for um, uh, healing in the differences and, uh, um, and for a, 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 a nation and a government that will protect life and uh, be a just country. We pray to the Lord. And for the intention for this morning, for the repose of the soul of Virgilio del Rosario, and also for Angel Ramirez, who died uh, and will be buried this morning. We pray to the Lord. And for all our private needs, our prayers, and our hearts, which we present to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God and Father, we offer you our prayer for all who are in need. May your love come upon them, and may they experience your saving help through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all, of all power and might. Blessed are you, Lord God of heaven and earth. To you we offer the bread which you have given to us. It will become for us the bread of life. of this water and wine. May we come to share in your divinity, you who humbled yourself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, dearly beloved brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of your redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, 
the angels praise, for in, in your goodness, in goodness you created us. And when your Son, our Lord Jesus, was con just, um, when he was, oh, excuse me, you created man, and when man was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Heaven and the virtues of heaven worship together. May our voices join with theirs in humble praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially the intention for this Holy Mass, for Virgilio del Rosario, and also for um, Angel Ramirez, who will be buried this morning, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us to you and to all those on live stream watching with us from home, let us share now the sign of the peace of Christ. Peace of Christ be with you. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Lord, um, my Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
Amen. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this, by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and in heart, through Christ our Lord. The uh, retreat the 10-week retreat, Consoling the Heart of Jesus. We will postpone it until starting Ash Wednesday, that week of Ash Wednesday, which is not very far away, by the way. It will go first, uh, quick, come quickly. So I ordered four more of the packets. So um, if there are people who would like to join and there's still time um, to if, tell me soon, um, so in case if I run out of those, I can order more. But uh, the packets, they're $30, and they're the book and the workbook and other things that will uh, guide us for this 10-week retreat, Consoling the Heart of Jesus. It will start at the beginning of Lent. The Lord be with you.
the peace and blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace.